Hello world, oh, this is Wolfstar Games, and welcome back to more Robotics Notes Elite. Uh, last time, and not too terribly much happened, uh, we arrived in Tokyo uh, for the expo, and after a little bit, we stayed at a far too expensive hotel, thanks to Michi. And that's pretty much all I got here for this intro. <laughs> So we'll get right into it here. I hear a sound. The sound of uh, the shower running, it sounds like. If I had to guess. But no, it's the sound of rain. I guess it's storming outside. The Why does it sound so echoey, though? In that case, I've got to go to school by bus, so I have to leave earlier than usual and meet Akiho at the, at the stop. Wait, my bed is crazy soft. Was it ever this comfy? <laughs> my alarm clock hasn't rung. What time is it right now? It's like, are you, have you forgotten where you are, Kaito? <clears throat> When I open my eyes, I'm greeted by an unfamiliar ceiling. Oh, right. This isn't Tanegashima. It's a hotel room in Tokyo. I finally remember the situation I'm in. I don't have to go to school. Thank goodness. <laughs> I close my eyes to go back to sleep. Then open them immediately. The sound of uh, water going is keep is preventing him from falling asleep. Akio should be sleeping next to me, but she's nowhere to be found. Uh, also, despite sounds of rain, there's sunlight beaming in through the window. Is he that tired? Oh. Oh, Akio must be taking a shower. As I thought initially. It's seven in the morning, according to the clock. She's sure up early. Must be excited. Well, of course she is. <laughs> it's like we witnessed that last time. I close my eyes and listen to the sounds of the shower. My brain still isn't running right. <laughs> New environment... I can kind of understand. I could probably sleep for another hour. And then I'll take a shower myself. A nice hot shower. Kai? Yes? Mosh mosh. It's like, wake up, Kaito! <laughs> it's like, here's your alarm clock. The Akiho alarm. <laughs> Something crashes on top of my body, <laughs> knocking the wind out of me. <laughs> that would uh, wake anyone up. <laughs> Tackles him right in bed. Uh, kind of wish that there was like a CG of that. <laughs> I open my eyes to find Akio hanging over me. It's like, hi. <laughs> it's like, but before we get uh, further here, a couple of Tweepo messages, it looks like. And reporting an update for the spread of the Kimijima reports. As of February 18th, 2020, 68% have spread worldwide. Total completion, 12%. England, past 80%. Egypt, Past 50%. Kazakhstan confirmed start of spread. They forgot the E in confirmed. <laughs> I'm up. Been a while since I got this much sleep. Maybe because it was a nice hotel? Hotel power is amazing. Though I was a bit nervous in the beginning, 
<laughs> Woo! Bringing my game face. <laughs> game face. Gotta force myself to feel more motivated. But first, shower time. <laughs> it's like, did the, the, the shower feel good, Akiho? <laughs> it's like, it looks like she had a very uh, good sleep. It's like, she... Uh, I mean, she slept on the ride over, so it's like she must have been super tired. When our eyes meet, she gives me a satisfied smile. <laughs> Ohayo. Ohayo. <laughs> Ohayo. Omoi kara doite kurenai. <laughs> she can't be that heavy. I sluggishly lift my body as she frees me. She's just trying to wake you up. It's like, it, yeah, he was like really zonked out or conked out. All kinds of things. More than just uh, trying to uh, talk me out of sleep. <laughs> おい、おい、何したわけ昔と同じだよ。ほっぺたツンツンしたりとか。パクパクパク。髪の毛ぐしゃぐしゃしてみたりとか。え、ディディンフィルダット。アブアブサプライズ。<laughs> <laughs> He must have really been zonged out. Benching my nose? Can't you just let a poor guy sleep in peace? <laughs> I mean, it's time to get up. Zeong? Zeong. What is that? Zeong is the name of a big cushion in Akio's room. Oh. Okay. I have some questions about her naming sense, <laughs> but whatever. She seems to really like it. I mean, there's. I think there's nothing wrong with that name. I mean, it. It seems suitable. For Akiho to name something such as Zeong. I mean, it, it, it's it's like a robot thing, right? I still don't know exactly what it is. The only thing I know is that the white cushion has a strange face drawn on it. Oh wait, that that thing on her bed that kind of looks like a bear? Didn't the geotag for that say Fazbear or something like that? I can't remember. さ、そろそろ起きて。シャワー浴びといてよ。それから朝ごはん食べに行こう。今日はお姉ちゃんに会うんだから、会もちゃんとおめかしすること。My best, huh? She's hyped. She's always hyped. Well, half the time, anyway. But the more hopeful you are, the more painful the disappointment is when things don't go right. I take a look at my phone droid. There's still no response from Misame. No surprise. Misune's apartment is in Aoyama. Wait, uh, is that like the intercom to her apartment? That that looks pretty uh fancy there. After taking a bus in Shibuya, we took the wrong train and wandered all over Tokyo on the verge of tears. After going through 
Ikebukuro and Ginza before getting back to Shibuya, we gave up and called a cab. It took two hours to get to a place that would normally take 30 minutes. As for her apartment building, well... The entrance had an auto lock, and no matter how many times we dialed her room number, Misune never answered. Either she's ignoring it, or she's not home. We couldn't get in touch with her on our phone droids either. With little choice, we waited there for four to five hours, but it was pointless. Four to five hours? Boy, they have a lot of patience to wait that long. We returned to Odaiba and grabbed a late lunch. Why does it look so weird in here? I mean, is that supposed to be a wall or a, uh, <laughs> or, or a, some kind of partition? It looks like a partition, but it looks really weird. Uh, oh yeah, did, did that, didn't I read this before, like, a long, long time ago? <laughs> yeah, McDonald, I, I remember coming across that name before. Oh, Diamond Deluxe Store. And Tweepo. Hey, you home? Can I come over? I'm gonna come! Is she there? Will we be able to see her? I miss her. Poor Akio. By which I mean we went to the same burger joint we hit up last year. It is the same place. <laughs> it's that's life for you, Akio. It's like, just wait until you're an adult. <laughs> Akio sides while chewing on french fries. Not all of them are self-centered. Aki-chan-sa. This is what happens when you get too hopeful. I prepared myself for the worst case scenario, so I'm not particularly shocked by today's outcome. I mean, y you try and shoot for a plan and sometimes your plan just completely falls through. Yes? I mean, Kaito knows that she is. He's actually talked to her. But Kaito... I don't... As I recall, Kaito never told Akiho about his conversation with... Uh, Misune. I mean, it, it was Kimijima related, so uh, it, it's not surprising that he didn't tell Akio about it. Although at the same time, I'm sh I'm sure Akio would have appreciated if Kaito had told her that he talked to Misune. Huh? I end up staring at her in wide-eyed amazement in response to her, her absurd question. I mean, it's not completely absurd. Uh, yeah. Then what exactly do you mean, Akiho? That's right. <laughs> I mean, she did. 
Uh, I'm surprised that she didn't actually call. I mean, it was her best friend. Like, Akio's getting desperate. Like she's non-existent. Doesn't connect? Hmm. Sometimes the call doesn't connect. That's a little curious, isn't it? I, I may be reading too far into it, but I somehow I get the feeling that uh, Akio saying all this is like some kind of foreshadowing. I mean, she might be on to say something saying all that. She, maybe? Date. <laughs> Misune doesn't exist, huh? I know that's not possible. I know for a fact that she's still alive. I never told Akio about how I spoke to Misune once last summer. Yeah. It's like, I... He should have told her. Only one other reason? Well, I'm trying to think what that one other reason would be. And I'm kind of coming up blank. It certainly seems that way that Misune is purposely avoiding her. It's like, which she shouldn't really do. Especially since Akio has been trying to contact her. <sighs> Here we go. Have a have a chicken nugget, yeah. It's like keep your mind at ease. Have a nugget. That's not gonna help. You're Senomiya Akiho. Yeah. It's like, I know that. Kaito's just trying to give her a little bit of peace of mind, but a chicken nugget isn't going to do that. He needs to tell her that he talked to her. Enjoy, you don't know. She does want it. <laughs> Akio grabs one of the nuggets from my tray and tosses it into her mouth. So, Megenaktemoinjanae? I uh, maybe maybe she'd show up at the expo. We don't know for sure. I mean although then again she did watch the uh, Robo One match. So maybe she'll be there. Misane <laughs> 
俺たちはこれから毎日会場にいるわけだしミサ姉が来たと分かったら即突撃すればいい妹なのにそこまでしないと会えないなんて It's like, I get it, Akiyao. It's like, you... <laughs> I completely get it. And I don't really want to see a sad Akiyao. She says as she sips on her cola loudly. Demo, Kai no you told it, eh? Chance of a Ikura de Mar. Some Hina Kuruma de. You do that. Mazua, Kaimakuma, any guns, Kutsuno, Kumita. She suddenly stands up and shouts, prompting the other customers around us to give her strange looks. <laughs> Don't be sorry, you're just being yourself. If it's like, just be yourself and don't let others, people around you, get to you. That's how I like to look at things anyway. The next day, I take some time off in the late afternoon and head back to Shibuya. This is my second time in Tokyo, but my first time traveling alone here. Akio seems suspicious, but I managed to dodge her questions. My destination? A certain hospital. Hospital. Why? I heard that Yukefuni Airi is ho hospitalized there. Oh. He. Hmm. Okay. She he wants to find out if the real ID is you know still in like like a cold sleep or a coma or whatever state she's in. Huh. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. At the nurses' station. I ask her for her room number. It's on the top floor in the far corner of this giant building. I knock, but there's no answer. Upon knocking again, I'm still met with silence. So I slowly open the door. Hi! Our eyes meet. Well, she's awake. She is it just me or does she look a little, just a little older in this CG? Sitting atop the bed is a lone girl staring at me. I steal myself and fully open the door. Oh boy, I, I I really wonder what he's gonna say here. Hi, Demo. Other than can I come in? <laughs> the girl, Yukefuni Airi, nods her head ever so slightly. A little shy. The room is totally barren. There's one bed, a TV, and a shelf. She doesn't even have any flowers at her bedside. It's undeniable. The girl in bed is Aidy. In the flesh. <laughs> the thawing process must have been a success. That's good. I would have really hated if something had gone wrong. Before coming to the hospital room, the doctor in charge of her explained it to me in detail. She's in good health. Good. 
She'll have to stay here for a while due to her prior disease, but the cold sleep left no after effects of note. That's great. That's that's super great. Ah, oh. it's like just just the fact that they're meeting in the flesh. Just it makes me feel good. Aidy exists. She's right here. She has a real body. She's breathing. She really exists. As someone who spent half a year with her AI equivalent, you can imagine just how profound this is for me. Yeah, seriously. I want to try touching her. Um... How about not? That would be just a little weird, if you ask me. Kaito knows her as an AI, not as a human. Even though that the her in uh, IRUO was her memories. Her hair, her skin... I don't mean that in a lewd way. Nah, I get it. It's a pure desire to confirm that she's really there. That she exists. Well then, how about if you ask her for her hand? Touching her through the LCD monitor of my phone droid, ID was always hard. That, that's an interesting way to look at it. She's actually 25 years old. <laughs> I mean, it. she may be 25 years old in, like, real time. But since she was, like, cryogenically frozen, she's still a child. So it's like she hasn't aged a day. So she's... What, what, what did we learn her age to be when she was uh, put in cold sleep before then? I, I can't remember now. Wasn't it like 14? The same age as Michi, Misune, and Mizuka-san. But she looks like a junior high school kid. To me, she looks younger. I mean, she, she looks like she is in elementary school. That's all because she was that age when she entered cold sleep. I gotta say, meeting her like this is kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> she might be the first human subject to experience artificial cold sleep in all of history, after all. Maybe in this game. <laughs> I figured she'd be surrounded by scientists all day, every day. Quartz connected her in gathering data. But that's not the case. Anna. At a loss for words? Aidy, or should I call her Aidy san, seems guarded. Especially after my sudden visit. Uh, yeah, from someone she doesn't know. It's like, she, she w would be very guarded. I have to remind myself. This isn't the same Aidy san that I knew for half a year. Yeah. It's like, the ID that he knows is her memories. Which is essentially a, a different ID when you think about it. Of course, she wouldn't know me. Oh, 
君を目覚めさせるきっかけを作った人間ってことになるのかな I, I guess this is a good enough way to let her know who's responsible for getting her out of cold sleep and the one who found her. Uh, this is kind of a weird self intro. <laughs> It's like, at this point, you should just say your name, Kaito. So, what is it? No trouble at all. Absolutely no trouble at all. Oh, yeah. <sighs> ID san's expression is dim. I, I imagine since she was in cold sleep for so long that her. You know, brain and her body is still trying to recover. Maybe she didn't want to wake up.、Mm. I don't know about that. I mean, sure, the cold sleep was、uh, helping her illness, but I don't. It, that's hard to say that she didn't want to wake up. I mean, we're not seeing things from her perspective. Almost ten years have gone by. If, but if they haven't found a cure for her illness yet, this was all pointless. Which would make me a real jerk for dragging her out of that thing. I mean, he felt like. He felt like what he had to do was, you know, call the police, let them know that he found a young girl lying in this strange machine unattended for, to the police's point of view, for who knows how long. So. Essentially, he did the right thing. According to the doctor in charge, her mom's whereabouts are unknown. No family has come to visit her. I mean, her mom has moved on, and her dad, probably the same. She's all alone in this world. She doesn't have to be, though. The ID son of today leapt forward ten years into a completely foreign world. When I think about it that way, the inside of my chest throbs with pain. What have I done? Our conversation fizzles out quickly. Of course it does. We don't share anything in common. Naturally, she doesn't have any AI memories, of course. But even still. Like, tell her your name, Kaito. It's hard. <laughs> Come on, Kaito. I'm sure she would appreciate a proper introduction. I do my best to force her to smile as I try to leave the room. I know. Hi. Come on, speak up. She must be a very shy. Yashio Kaito. Yashio Kaito san. Kite kurete. Arigato. 
You're welcome. Mesamete kara, menkai ni kite kure ta no wa, anata ga hajimete de shita. Mata kite mo. I'm sure she would like that. It's like she hasn't. I mean, aside from the doctors and nurses, I mean, Kaito's the first person she's met in like 10 years. It's fine. Good. Good. She doesn't want me to worry about her, huh? I should probably swing by every so often. Heidi <laughs> <laughs> san tilts her head. She looks outside the window. Then back in my direction. <laughs> it's like, it's sunny out. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm Aidy for the first time. I, th I think that's for the first time. So, <sighs> no Unable to endure it any longer, I leave the hospital room as though I'm running away from something. Well, that was rather interesting. Say, so I, I hope he does follow through in uh, checking in on her every now and then while he's in Tokyo. I'm back in Odaiba, but I don't feel like heading over to Akiho yet. There you see, I have a tweetbo message again. Starting the assembly today. A little worried all by myself. Makes me think they might not come back. I can reply to this one. Let's do this. Let's see, what do we got? Already missing the island? Uh, already missing the island? Homesick, huh? Uh, if you have time to think, then work, okay? I'm already in Odaiba. Don't worry. I think I'll go with this one. I'm already in Odaiba, don't worry. On the way to the arena, I gaze out at the flow of cars from a bridge above the highway. Weird. She always responds when I call out to her. I boot up IRUO on my phone droid. As far as I can tell, there's no sign of Gijene anywhere nearby. Oh boy, now, now I'm wondering if the real ID were to see Gijene, what would her reaction be? That would be a very interesting, uh... That, that would be a very interesting scene to witness. It's like the... The real Aidy and Gijene interacting. That would be... Kind of... Surreal in a way. As well as... Very interesting. I mean, it's like... How would they talk to each other? given that they're essentially the same person, even though that Gijene is an AI. She's still linked to my phone droid. So she should be able to appear here, not just on Tanigashima. Um, right. I mean, since she's tethered to IRUO. If nothing else, I know she was with me at least two days before I left. Oi, 
Yeah, Gina. I call out to her again, but she still doesn't respond. This has never happened before. It's like, calling Gijane. Come in, Gijane. Do you copy? Did they do more maintenance? Did she get erased? I have a feeling that we would have uh, found out about the maintenance uh, beforehand, if so. With the Kimijima reports public, the Committee of 300 may have pressured Happiness for you to erase her. It's possible. I mean, that, that's a pretty fair assumption. There was a time in which having Aidi and Gijene around all the time was kind of a bother, but, <laughs> but now he's missing the two of them. Well, now that they're not here anymore, it's kind of lonely. <sighs> I'm sure Akio is doing her best to assemble Model 2 right now. I should help her out at least a little bit. Th uh, at least a little this time. I tuck away my phone droid and head for the expo arena. That reminds me, I wonder if they sell Skull in Tokyo. I'll swing by a convenience store on the way over. Sure, Akio would appreciate a Skull if he can find one. For several days afterwards, I forget Misune, Aidi, and Gijene, instead focusing on constructing Model 2. I'm not used to assembly work, so it took Everything I had to do the work everything I had to do the work Akio ordered me to do. I'm pretty incompetent at basically everything aside from fighting games. A uh, candy san stood by and watched as I worked, occasionally scolding me and yelling things like Not enough impact <laughs> Weepo. Uh, uh, th this is a new one. Okay. R reporting an update for the spread of the Kimijima reports. As of February 21st, 2020, 70% have spread worldwide. Total completion, 12%. Netherlands, past 80%. Ivory Coast, past 60%. Completion rankings, first. Japan, second. America, Third, oh no wait, first, I was reading that wrong, first is Japan, second is America, third is France. Hey. Just saw something disturbing, I will accept the criticism, but I still want to fight with Gunvaral, because it's my favorite robot anime, <laughs> because it's the robot big sister chose. Yes. <laughs> oh, while I'm at it, this is a new location. Uh, can I read the sign here? No. Nothing to look at it here, really? J11. Okay, nope. Okay. That brings us to the present, the day before the expo opens. The date is about to change over. Akio bows her head to me and the other workers who have gathered around. What was the hardest thing about assembling Model 2? The fact that it can't be assembled standing up. It can't. Okay. The TNSC had a ceiling crane, but unfortunately this venue has nothing that convenient. 
So, what can we use? Which obviously means that since it's a symbol lying down, we had to figure out a way to stand it up. Were they able to figure something out? With the booths around us basically finished, we couldn't bring a crane in. While we were on the island, we had Frau add a motion that would allow it to crouch from a sleeping position. Oh. Then that would come in handy with getting it be with it getting up then. Frau is against us forcing our way into the expo. Oh, really? But she still agreed to help us out. I wonder why she was against us forcing our way into the expo. Huh. Since Juno was unavailable, the motion was designed entirely by Frau. As a last resort, we moved the parabolic antenna to the waist. To the waist? Okay. Allowing Model 2 to be powered even while lying down. Akio triumphantly pulls something out. What do we got? It's a tube about one meter in length. It's also equipped with a trigger. Akio puts it up on her shoulder and poses. The thick cord extending from the end of the tube is connected to a large power generator next to it. <laughs> お父さんの知り合いが試作してくれたコンパクトカタレーザー送電樹。Oh, okay. すごく高いらしいんだけど、特別にタダで借りた。For Is it? これならうちだって持ち運べるし、送電中に移動だってできるんだよ。Akio has everyone stand back before she starts transmitting power to the parabolic antenna. Laser cannon spark! Glaring laser light silently surges from the end of the tube. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> As ordered, I turn the robot's power to on from my phone droid. Simultaneously, Model 2's motors enter their neutral positions and lock up. <laughs> Fingers crossed that it works? Model 2's control priority is currently with my phone droid. Rise up and crouch is a single move set. Inputting one command will make it perform the moves in succession. I quickly input the command. Model 2 then raises both its knees and uses its arms to nimbly transition into a crouching, crouching position. Yes, it did. That that animation was so smooth too. Wow, and <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't exactly look like it's in a crouching position. It looks more like it's in a squatting position. <laughs> I mean, can we make it do squats? You know, like <laughs> I. I want Model 2 to do squats like a cloud does in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Candy San and the rest of the workers applaud for us. 
うんええー、のーなかなかのインパクトじゃ That was really good, yes. みろみろロボの胸に三千と輝く我がスペースアメのロゴこれで東京での一般流通に乗せられるな<笑> Oh, is that why he decided to take on being their sponsor? To get into the general distribution in Tokyo? By the way, there's no Space Candy logo if you look at AR Gunvarel via IRUO. Right. Now that Model 2 is safely crouched down. <laughs> squatted down, as I want to say, actually. Akiho moves the parabolic antenna, bringing today's work to an end. So, we're just going to leave Model 2 in a squatting position? All that's left is to wait until the main event. All right. This also means all of the workers are done as well. We politely thank them all and they pack up and leave. Candy san apparently has a business meeting to attend, so he leaves as well. Only Akiho and I are left. We both look up at Model 2. What a sight. Yeah. <laughs> What a sight indeed. It's like, we've made it. It's like, through some trials and tribulations, we have finally made it to the expo with a working, viable robot. Model 2 is stable and on standby in its crouching position. But man, it's neither cute nor cool. <laughs> well, I can make it cool. There we go. <laughs> it's like, just look at Gunnarell all squatted down. Regardless, even though I only really helped out at the end, even despite how lame it looks, I feel attached to this dude. <laughs> Thanks to Akiho. Yeah, yeah, same thing with Juna. Akiho mutters softly. Yeah, and Frau. Can't forget Frau. Too bad they're not here. Dokuya, Naisan, ya, Otozan, ya. Kono Gantskutsu no Tameni Kyoryoku Stekreta, Svete no Hitoni. Yeah. Miseta Getakatana. I mean, I know it's like a sense of accomplishment and all, but this is actually quite emotional here. It's like, it's, it's like a very sad feeling. I mean, I should feel sad, but I do. It's, it, it kind of contradicts how I should be feeling at this moment, but. That's how I feel. I feel sad, not. not. you know, excited for Akiho and Kaito. I, it's really weird to feel this way. Ashita Kaimaku Stara, Shikari performance, Shita Apeel Srebae. Sorega Mitome Raritara, Kito Shuzai Mokurda Roshi, Sorega Shima de Monagare Kamoyo. それはたぎるなそうなってくれるといいねいや、いや
注目されればミサネーだって気づいてくれるだろうしあっそうだね。Akio then stretches her arms out. <laughs> it's like stretch, it's like her making her stretching noises、uh, makes me want to stretch. <laughs> it's like she's trying to blow away all the uncertainty in her heart. Staff jumper toka, you always don't give a yo katana. アメ社長に頼んで作ってもらえないかな I mean, we could see what, see what he says. ってダメか。それじゃあ、普通にスペースアメ社のスタッフジャンパーになっちゃいそう。<笑> mm, yeah. Not that, not that she's thinking about it, yeah. アキちゃんが学校の制服着るのはやめようって言うからだよ。だって一応うちらは中種ロボ部じゃなくて元ロボ部なんだし。Right, yes. Central T? Yeah, yeah. That's her abbreviation for Central Tanagashima High. 教頭先生に反対されちゃってるんだし、さすがに学校の名前背負っては出られないよ。Very true. So, what name can we use? Huh? Aki chan was so come at the Congo at the time. Just to the Doroki Kamo. Gorejo, Darekani may work Kaketaku Naikara. Akio smiles sadly. Ne, Kai, is Shoni Kitekurete. Arigato. You're welcome. これからもよろしくね。I'm counting on you too, Akio. <laughs> 少なくとも万博が終わる半年後までは付き合うよ。俺はアキちゃんとの勝負に負けた身だからね。うちらは最高のパートナーってことで。Now and forever. Right, Kaito? たとえるなら、ノアとアスマ。うちがアスマで、カイがノア。性別逆だけどね。<笑>ノアとアスマ、uh, I'm not sure what she's referring to. ノアアスマって、カイに言ってもわかんないか。Oh, is it a robot anime reference? Gun... A Gunvarel reference? <laughs> Akio laughs, then takes her usual stance. <laughs> I don't think Aki Chan will ever get tired of yelling that line. Not ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a can deny the Ashtani s o n a t e hotel in Modorio. Let's do that. Ah, Mateo! What, what's wrong? Akio hurriedly chases after me as I start walking off. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited. It's finally happening. Tomorrow, Tokyo Expo 2020 begins. Kai. Kai. Oh. M- M- Mizuka? I mean, that's. Yeah, that- those are her legs, her hug, right? 
Oh, uh, this is interesting. Is Kaito must be dreaming. That or he's getting some like weird I I don't know like s s some kind of message from beyond the grave or something. Kai. Kai. Yes, Musica. I hear a voice. A voice calling to me. I can just barely see something in the darkness. Legs. Definitely Musica. That's your jacket as well. Legs wearing a white hug. For some reason, every front, everything from their waist up is shrouded in darkness. The silhouette is hard to make out, but we can easily tell who it is. I know it's Mizuka-san, but I can't see her face. Why can't he see her face? What? What's happening? We know when we know when we tried to save her that she said it's okay, let me go. She was ready to sacrifice herself. So what is this then? What is this here? Is this Mizuka? Or is it just like some kind of nightmare that Kaito is having. I tried to save you, but I couldn't. There was nothing I could do by myself. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save you. Deep within my heart, I cry. I cry and apologize over and over again. Then, the figure wearing the hug vanishes. She suddenly disappears from my sight. Just like how it happened before. I can still clearly remember Mizuka-san's unmoving form below the cliff. When the accident happened, when I saw Mizuka-san's final moments, I realized something. All the news I saw on TV and on the net about solar disturbances hitting Tokyo and other countries, the rampaging hugs, I had thought it ought to be someone else's problem. I was convinced that the flames would never reach me. But I was wrong. Yeah. I realized that I had been naive. Tanegashima is a part of Tokyo and the rest of the world. It's not someone else's problem. It's not a story inside a video game. <laughs> About that. It's like, it, it's getting just a bit meta here. It's all part of reality. In place of Mizuka-san's hug, I hear another voice from the depths of the darkness. Oh boy. Now we're hearing Misenai's voice. Oh boy. Trying to parse this together to figure out what's 
going on in Kaito's head right now, that would take some time for me to do. Stop. Please, just stop. <laughs> when I open my eyes, I'm back in the hotel room. Okay, it was a nightmare. But, was it? Was it only partly a nightmare? Or was it fully a nightmare? That's the question. <sighs> Thank you, okay, Kaito? I'm breathing heavily. My whole body is soaked in sweat. My heart is pounding, and I'm worried that I'll have an attack. Kai, Tajobu? I'll be okay. Hopefully. Akio is sleeping next to me in the dark room. She gives me a worried look. It was all just a dream. A nightmare. I, t I take a deep breath. <sighs> And it's like, breathe, Kaito. Calm down. Don't let yourself get an, get an attack here. But maybe that's how I truly feel somewhere deep down. As much as it pains me to admit it, I'm growing suspicious of her. I, of of Misune. It's so like finally he's uh, getting more and more suspicious of her. Just that thought alone makes my heart feel like it's being torn open. I feel nauseous. Both my body and mind are trying to deny this truth as vehemently as possible. <laughs> Oh. Really? Oh, that... Hmm. That's, uh... That's concerning, isn't it? Maji. I had no idea. Akio grabs my arm tightly. She presses her forehead against my neck. Oh. I can feel her breathing and warmth against my skin. It's like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, he doesn't talk to Akiho enough about what's going on with him. It's like, all throughout the, getting the Kimijima reports and just everything involving that, he hasn't said a single word to the one person he's the closest to about it. And he knows that he can rely on Akiho. うちは、カイに弱音を聞いてもらってるから、だいぶ助けられてるけど。カイは、ちゃんとガス抜きできてる? Aki-chan 
うちにも弱音ぶつけてほしいよ I don't want that to happen too カイが苦しいなら力になりたいもんうちなんかじゃ力になれるかどうかはわからないけどそれでもえ、っ、even still, it doesn't hurt to have an open ear. Someone to lean on. When Kaito needs someone to lean on. But he hasn't, he hasn't taken the initiative to do that. Jasa. <laughs> もう今夜は眠れそうにないんで、徹夜で起きてるのに付き合ってくれないあ、うん。そういうことなら、うちに任せてよ<笑> !They always got each other covered.Akio jumps from bed and grabs her phone droid.She begins fiddling with it. 徹夜するときに、うってつけのものがあるんだ。<laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 アキちゃんらしいよ<笑>実はうちもねさっきから興奮しすぎてちっとも眠れなかったんだ<笑>だから一緒に見ようはいはい分かったからあんまり大声出さないように深夜だから響くでしょういや<笑>本当はねお菓子とかあるとバッチリなんだけど深夜に食べたりしたら太っちゃうから我慢我慢<笑> Self restraint go <笑> Akio happily sits up in bed right next to me We sit shoulder to shoulder our legs sprawled out It doesn't really make sense for the two of us to try to watch on a single tiny phone droid screen. ちなみに、全話見るのはさすがに一日じゃ無理だから。とりあえず、最高傑作と言われてる第二シーズンを見ることにするね。Season 2 is the masterpiece. Alright. それでも朝までに最後まで見られるかどうか微妙だけど。Well, how many episodes are there? カイ、第一シーズンの話は覚えてるいや、全然。<笑> Not surprising. 何度も見せたのに。じゃあ、簡単にうちがあらすじを説明してあげよう。<笑> okay, sure. アギオズ、lively voice slowly dissipates the dark, murky feeling that had built up in my chest. Good. I'm starting to calm down again. I guess everyone's、uh, gotta release some stress every once in a while. Yes. The tension begins to leave my body. I breathe a sigh of relief and lean up against Akio's shoulder. There's a lot of CGs that have a very strong blue tint to them. And I'd say that out of all of them, this one is the,、uh, is the strong, has the strongest blue tint to it. I mean, it's a really good CG, but it's like just the blue is just really strong in this. Kai? What are you saying? じゃあそのまま解説続けてよ
As I listen to Akio's voice, I close my eyes and he slowly falls asleep. If we stay up all night, will we be okay tomorrow? We gotta watch out for those pesky attacks of ours, after all. Yeah. Well, I'm sure things will work out. Right now, I just feel like listening to Akio's voice like this for a while. It calms, uh, listening to her, her, listening to her voice calms them down. That's good. Okay, but, but before this animation gets uh, farther here, I think I'm gonna stop it here. We'll save the expo for next time. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching, and thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be.